Welcome back. In this video, we're gonna look at how do we package an app for Mac OS so we could push it out using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So within the portal here, we're gonna to go to Apps, Mac OS, and then we're gonna click on Add a New App. Now, I can push out Microsoft 365 apps, the new Microsoft Edge Chromium browser, Defender ATP client, and I don't need to package anything. I just choose it and it automatically pushes out. However, if I have a custom line of business app, maybe it's Google Chrome or Adobe Acrobat Reader, then I need to package it. So I'm gonna choose line of business app and it's gonna tell me that it wants it in a format called Intune Mac. So my traditional .pkg file here for Google Chrome is not going to work. So how do I wrap it and package it for this new file format? Well, that's where Intune App Util comes into play. I'll put a link in the video description to this. But in this article, we'll walk you through how to download the Intune app wrapping tool for Mac, which is a GitHub repo here that will walk you through it. Now I've already downloaded this and it's right here. So let's go ahead and run this and go ahead and package Google Chrome so that we can push it out using Endpoint Manager. Okay, so to do this, um, I've already gone to the website here and I'm gonna run some commands. Now I've already downloaded into an app util. So I browse the directory with where that uh, file is located and we're gonna run a command here called chmod plus x into an app util. And this turns it into an executable. Once I run that, I'm then going to run into an app util using the instructions on this page. So we're gonna do a period forward slash to tell that it's an executable and tell it to run into an app util. And then we're gonna do dash C for the source file. And it's actually located in the same directory that I'm in now. And again, this is gonna be Google Chrome .pkg. Now I can only do this for .pkg files. I cannot do it for .dmgs. That DMG has to be converted into a PKG, and then I can wrap it with the Intune app util wrapper. So we're gonna tell it the input file, the output file, dash O, is in the same directory that I'm in now, and I'm just gonna do that and leave it there, so that way it's gonna create it using the same directory and the same file name. And I always like to do verbose logging, so I'm gonna do a dash V and hit enter. It's gonna take that Google Chrome.pkg and it's going to wrap it and here you can see it just finished doing it. It's pretty quick. And then over here, we've got our final file, Google Chrome.pkg.intune Mac. So now I can go over to the Intune portal or the Endpoint Manager portal, portal rather, and I can actually upload that file. So I'm gonna choose add an app, line a business app, and then choose select. And I'm gonna browse that package. And there's the file we just wrapped. Check it out and knows what it is. I'm gonna click OK, and I can start filling out the fields here. A couple things I wanna call out. If you mark it as being managed, that means when you go to uh, wipe the device, it will automatically remove that managed app. So it's gonna automatically remove Google Chrome. Uh, and then I can uh, go ahead and add a logo for it, and I could do some other things here. Um, and then once I click Next, I'm then going to assign it to my users or my groups of users as required. And required means it gets pushed out automatically. And at that point, I'm ready to go. It's gonna start uploading the, the package to the portal and then it's gonna start processing it and then pushing it out to my end users. Folks, it's really that easy. There's, there's not much to this. Again, you would use this for a custom line of business app like Google Chrome to, uh, to uh, take it and put a wrap around it so that Intune can recognize it and then you can push it out to the Mac devices. I've already done this with a few other apps, uh, as you can see here. So it's it, again, it's, it's really easy. So I do recommend reviewing this article. I'll put a link in the video description and the GitHub uh, repo as well. Again, it's not much to it, but if you found value in this, let me know, give me some comments, uh, give me some feedback. Go ahead and please be sure to subscribe because I have a lot more videos coming. And uh, by all means, you know, take care and we will see you in the next video.